whether it's Biden or Trump, doesn't really matter. They're both going to try and end crypto. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whenever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Dimitri Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5, five five, staying alive in Dubai. You know how I do. It's always the same. All good. All good. Well, not quite always the same. I mean, uh, there are some days that I'm really down, but uh, yeah, I'm here anyways, and I'm glad to be here. Man, you know what? I'm looking forward to the day where Bitcoin is money and we're using only crypto because honestly, whenever I go to a store and I go shopping, I'm scared to tap my credit card. I'm scared to hit my my Apple Pay because at any point in time, they, they can go, you know, no. And if you don't have that happen to you, you're, you're just you're lying. <laughs> you lie. You lie. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so this is why, you know, you want to have crypto as your means of payment because there is no stopping the transaction between you and the merchant. That's it. That's the bonus of crypto. Okay? And of course, governments don't like that. So we're going to be talking about that in today's episode. Also looking at, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, at the end of the show. So make sure you stay tuned and watch all the way to the end. Hit the like, head over and hit the subscribe. Just, you know, hit the subscribe button. You, know, you can do it. You can do it. It's free. Hit subscribe. Hit that like. And I really appreciate it. Okay. That said, if you're interested in trading, you can head over to coinw.davinciej15.com. Links are in the description below or in the pinned comment. Oh man, Waffles is getting beat up badly, badly. Oh, brutalized, absolutely chaotic. But don't worry, we will win the day. That yeah, I know somebody has, you know, still gotten our, our Waffles count, been working hard to get it back up and running, but that's just the way it is. All right, looking at GameStop stock, what the hell? Some roaring kitty guy came back to life and pump this thing 110%, wiping out billions of dollars from short sellers. Man, those shorts better, you know, you know, take them and run, man. Just, just, just buy back the stock and done. Jesus. So if you, if you got the little bit of money, man, there's still, you know, there's a lot, probably a lot more stock pump to go with this game stock. Um, because yeah, the shorts, a lot of shorts just hold on. Right. Because, yeah, tech, fundamentally, GameStop is pretty much over. But but because so much shorts are going into this, they can get wiped out heavily. And, you know, the stock could pump very heavily as well. OK. Biden blocks Chinese backed crypto mining firm from land ownership near Wyoming missile base. Yeah, well, I'm sure they can own land somewhere else. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. President Joe Biden on Monday issued an order blocking Chinese-backed cryptocurrency mining firm from owning land near Wyoming nuclear base, calling it a proximity to the base a national security risk. A little paranoid, but whatever. If they feel that that's the case, then yeah, um, they can do that, right? All right, well... <sighs> You know, I think, I don't know, is it what would happen if an American wanted to own that land for mining? I, mean, I don't know. We'll would have to see. All right, go, moving on. Ripple, Hydra, 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 and Algorand launches uh, the DREC Alliance for Web3 Asset Recovery. What is it? Okay, this is interesting because I wanted to do the, build something similar to this. But I'm glad they came up with it and, and I didn't have to, to do it myself. But basically, how the DREC app works, it empowers users to choose helpers, right? Other people that, you know, like myself or other people who, who can manage their keys and you can't, okay? Because you're, you're too lazy, right? Um, you don't have a safe. You can't buy a safe and put your keys in there, but whatever doesn't cost you that much, who securely store encrypted, uh, encrypted fragments of their secret within a library file. So basically, they say library file, but you know, it's just 
if someone's holding your keys, they might be online all the time, might be a corporation, might be an individual. Hopefully this, uh, they allow individuals to do this, not just only corporations, because the problem, if they only allow corporations to do that, the government will issue gag order subpoenas to get your keys. Me? What is the gag order subpoena? Here, you're going to give me these keys. And if you tell anybody, I know it's illegal for you to do that, for us to do that. I know it's illegal. We know that. But you're going to do it anyways. And if you don't, you're going to jail. Understand? And so what are they going to do? Are they going to like, yeah, we're going to fight you in court. Yeah, yeah. We're going to spend money. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to hand over the data, right? So that's the only problem. So if they have, you know, individuals doing this as well as corporations, then what happens is the government can't issue these subpoenas to individuals because once they do that, there will be individuals who will be like, yeah, put me in jail. See what happens, right? And then... You know, this becomes a PR nightmare for them, right? So they can't do that, right? Because then, you know, they got caught doing something illegal and in jailing somebody if they talk about it. This doesn't end up very well, looking very good, right? You end up looking like Chinese government. <laughs> All right, Trump versus Biden. Who's better for the Bitcoin adoption? Okay. Well, you know, it doesn't matter. The left, right, it's all of this is nonsense, right? They tell you, they give you a choice between evil and evil, and then give you, say that that's a choice. Go vote. That's not a choice. And it's besides, right? Whether or not you think that Trump is actually going to do something positive because the whole media and everyone is against him, is not the case. Yeah, they can't control him. Yeah, he might do a few things that they don't want. But overall, overall, the powers that be will get exactly what they want. Okay? Trump's economic policies include tax cuts and deregulation. Also, contribute to favorable investment climate, which is indirectly benefits Bitcoin. See, this is, yeah, it's not directly Bitcoin if Trump wins, but indirectly. It's nonsense, right? And so you're, they're just getting you to like, okay, yeah, you can vote for, because it's all about getting the blocks of voters, the Bitcoin block of voters, crypto block of voters. Uh, in contrast, President Joe Biden administration signals shift towards more regulated currency environment. Regulated currency environment? Okay, right? That's, uh, that's a big problem. While regulation is essential for long-term stability and legitimacy, there's concern. Okay, so hold up, right? Wait a minute, guys. You know, regulation is just a means to prevent you, the consumer, from actually doing anything to make yourself wealthy, right? Period. That's what it's there for. It's there so that you can't create a bank. You can't, for example, oh, you know what? I have a better idea. I won't create a bank. I'll just, you know, make, give you cash for your Bitcoin and and take cash for Bitcoin, right? That's it. No, 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 dog. That's against regulation. You're going to jail for a long, long time. The FBI will come knocking on your door in the United States for that. Say what? You call that logical reg regulation? You smoking weed, man. Get it, take, take that stuff out of your mouth and and, and, and say no to regulation. All right, with that said, let's get on to uh, the charts. Man, that was pretty bad. Yeah, I know. I said that the Bitcoin was going to, was probably going to pump here. And, you know, you get your shorts up here. At least if you stopped out 
got stopped out, you know, at, you know, at a decent amount, let's see here, maybe 2%, let's see here. If you did a 2% stop loss, maybe, or maybe it's still, still good, but I don't know. I don't think so. Let's see here. 2% from here. It's 1%. Yeah, 2% is right here. So yeah, it got stopped because it went above the, the uh, trend line. And I knew it was going, once Once it blew, blew past this and it was just, just going, going, going in. It was like, oh God, no. So, you know, you can't win them all, right? It's still probably going to come back down and, and fail, but Jesus Christ, this was like, this was a huge stop run, like nonstop, these guys, man. I mean, it's annoying, Bitcoin. There's, this is a bar, inverse, inverse bar, right? <laughs> and yeah and then all of a sudden we're gonna fail probably and head back down the interesting thing is that you know although ethereum is you know playing along right it's just only came back up a little bit yeah if you short it i said if you short you could probably short here but then yeah it just reversed it on you but just still not as bad as a as ethereum as bitcoin did and you can probably add to your shorts because it's still it's still clearly trending downwards, Ethereum. And although I would, I do have a little bit of concern that this is a bearish bullish divergence. So there is a bullish divergence, price is going down, whilst the indicators are going up. This could indicate some sort of reversal for a little while, maybe back up to the, the, the 3,100 3, ish area or to retouch the 200 period moving average before we fail just as a stop run here. So I'm a little concerned about this indicating a stop run right here, but yeah, it's, it's the, the chance we take. This is what it is about crypto or, or technical analysis. We do our best analysis on the market and we take our chances. So I would take the chance that this is going to go down, not go further up and retouch the 200 period moving average. All right. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I know I enjoyed being here for you guys. And I, I do this live at davincij15.com. So check that out and sign up and you can be a part of this live show in the mornings. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.